the national government on Friday, April 26 announced that the extension of school opening dates will be done on a case-by-case -case basis. Speaking during a press briefing on the ongoing floods in Karen, Deputy President Trigathi Kakagua noted that the Ministry of Education would coordinate with various county governments to analyze the situation on the ground before parents and students are advised on the changes. He also maintained that students whose schools have not been affected by the rains ought to report to schools as scheduled by the government. He stated, on a case by case, it will be analyzed on its own merit. Where there is a need to extend the opening day, we can do that. Otherwise, for the purpose of the country, the school will open as planned. Meanwhile, Education Principal Secretary Balio Kipsang noted that the ministry had already begun analyzing the situation in Nairobi County. Particularly, he hinted that 64 schools in Nairobi County would have their opening dates rescheduled owing to the destruction of classes and washrooms. Nonetheless, he also maintained that the school opening dates would remain unchanged for those institutions that have not been affected. Schools are scheduled to be reopened for the second term as from Monday, April 29th. On the other hand, the Ministry of Transport has been tasked with rebuilding key infrastructure used by school buses and students. Some of the infrastructure that has been destroyed include roads and bridges.